It's not the things inside my head that keep me going Don't need someone to throw me money, they should show it Keep chasing shadows, they're always haunting me But I believe in something bigger What's up Active Fam? Okay, so it's day three of the Rider Wear shoots at ABW Gym today. So I'm actually going to be modeling the men's stuff. So they've got a couple of new ranges that they're releasing. So we're doing a little bit of photo shoots in the gym and we're going to be doing a training session later tonight. Probably hit a hammies and glutes session, which obviously we'll film for you guys. So make sure you print screen the workout at the end of the video and hit that subscribe button to the channel if you haven't already. And we're going to get it kicking. So here's an insight to what goes on at the Rider Wear photo shoots. What are we doing, bro? We're doing that shoot, bro. I just did a full body pump. I did arms yesterday. I did like 10 kilo curls. I'm done. Photo shoot over. <laughs> Your arms are <laughs> fucking, arms are fucking massive. Sore. You need to do a pump when you're wearing a skin tight top like this, otherwise you'll look like a skinny faggot. Done. Done. Whoa. Finished. Time to eat. Yes. Maybe we'll get Uber Eats reward for finishing the shoot. Because I reckon. I dieted hard for this shoot, bro. Real hard. <laughs> what a load of shit. <laughs> jokes, what jokes, did you jokes. eat on Sunday? Sushi. Oh, a day no, before? No, no, the last 24 hours. HSP. The last 24 hours I was Kebabs. straight. I had straight yeah, chicken yeah, breast. <laughs> rice and I even cut out the veggies. Oh true. I cut back on the volume. Yeah, I'm like starving. fuck the green. <laughs> half the Nando sauce as well. The what? Prep, the prep was ridiculous as well. I saw that arm session yesterday. Yeah man. We yeah, did, you we killed did, Taz. Did a serious session. Taz, you're looking shredded. Thanks. Shredded for I thought I was shredding. I must have got mixed up a little I bit. I think we're all, are we all shredding? <laughs> you should be modeling it. I should be taking the photos. <laughs> I thought that was what was happening, but I just kind of went with it. Sort of rolls. Alright guys, it's so like 1.30 now, just finished up work. We're gonna do a hammy and glute session, but first, we're gonna go lay in the sun for like 5-10 minutes. 27 degrees today, so I thought, might as well go and enjoy the weather for a little bit. Relax, reset my mind, get in the zone, take that pre-workout, take that double scoop of car powder, let it settle, and then it's go time, baby. My carbs feel really tight today though. I haven't trained in like three weeks, but I'm keen to give them a good thrashing that new rider wear shoe on. Bang. Oh, I was gonna scare ya. Thought you were sleeping. What are you doing out here? Just getting the rays. 
TK in the house. Oh, show us those forearms, son. Yes, shredded. That's it, bro. I just got pumped from sitting in the sun and add 5% gains from getting a little bit darker. Wow. Look at that, my legs just grew in 20 minutes. How about that? So I tried the new Total War the other day, right? This is the second version. There's two versions, right? First one got banned, this is the second one. Now, the first time I took this, I took half scoop, it was fucking mad. And then the second time I took it, it put me on my ass. Reason being, I then messaged the guys from Redcon 1. I was like, wow, man, that is a strong pre-workout. It, like, rocked me. Now, this has an ingredient in it called Ampy Berry. Amp Berry. Now, what that does is it amplifies the other ingredients, the stimulants in it, to make them stronger. So, if you're someone that takes a lot of pre-workout, like, all the time, then this is good for you. Smash a full scoop, you'll love it. If you're someone like me that doesn't take pre-workout that often, or you don't drink coffee throughout the day, start with half a scoop. Yeah, half a scoop. It's more than enough. Take it from personal experience. Oh, I've got it. Oh, that's fucking amazing. Alright guys, so we're moving into a glute bridge superset with the kettlebell deadlift. Now this exercise, it's a superset and you want to make sure that you don't give yourself any rest in between. You literally jump out of the Smith machine and then jump straight into doing the kettlebell deadlifts because the Smith machine is basically an exercise that we're looking to pre-exhaust the glutes. Once they're nice and hot, then we hit that kettlebell deadlift and then we're just holding those reps for as long as we can at the top, making them burn and really like fucking just scream. And then you're just tapping it on the floor and then coming back up and then holding that squeeze. So it's a very time intensive exercise. We're looking to apply the tension for about at least three seconds at the end of each rep, right? So let's go here and have a look at the sleep machine. When you set yourself up, make sure that your feet are a little bit wider than your hip width. That's going to allow your room to actually drive your hips up nice and high, almost above parallel. And then also point your toes outwards a little bit. That's going to activate your glutes more than your quads. My life is over. Ah. Thinking again about our time together when the night is over. No. My life is over. No. Cause I start thinking again about our time.
so one tip that I want to give you guys when you're doing a hamstring curl, like the laying down machine, is don't use your chest to elevate and then like throw yourself forward just to use momentum to throw it up and down. I used to do that a lot when I was younger and just used to move as much weight as possible. But it's far more effective if you actually hold your chest into the, into the CPR. Make sure that you don't get any movement and control the weight on the way down. You can even like almost pause at the bottom, get that tension to build up on the hammy, and then just squeeze up nice and strong. Make sure you control it back down, and then once the muscle starts to burn out, then you can kind of just push it up and down with a bit more speed. But at least for the first four or five reps, they have to be nice, tight contractions. Contractions. <laughs> Oh, cooked bro. I thought the workout was nearly done. Nah, -uh, not yet. Still got at least half an hour to go. Taz's like, fuck man. Just gonna get the fuck out of here soon. I gotta catch a flight. I gotta go home soon. Ch check in 24 hours before. <laughs> Calling it there, session done. <laughs> All right guys, so I didn't end up doing really too much calves because I was feeling a little bit of a pain just through my hamstring tendon in the back of the calf there, which I've actually injured it before. So especially last time I did it, it was just after my end of year holiday, which I think I explained in my last video. So it's a similar sort of tightness and pain. So I'm kind of learning from my mistakes and I'm not gonna push it. So I'm gonna have to go another week without training them. Skinny little things. I just want that fullness. Nah, nah, Millie, we're going home. It's Saturday. We close early today. I know you want to go back inside, but let's go home. Come. Come, 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 come. Go. All right, what's up, Active Fam? So it is like seven o'clock at night. I've had only one meal for the day. It was my oat shake in the morning. Then pre-workout, I had two scoops of car powder. Post-workout, I had one protein shake. That's all I've had all day. And then we're just organizing dinner for tonight. I'm like, Claire, what do you feel like eating? She's like, I want a burger or a pizza or something like that. And I was like, oh, I don't know, man. I'm in a deficit. If we eat clean, I can remain in that deficit. Wake up a little bit leaner tomorrow. And she's like, no, 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 come on, man. Cheap meal tonight, burgers, let's go. I was like, all right, fine. I guess I can fit it in, we'll eat clean tomorrow night. All right, my burger's are arriving in about two minutes. I ordered it at least 20 minutes ago. She still hasn't ordered anything. She's looking at the Uber Eats menu like, it's fucking Netflix. Like, trying to pick a movie. Like, it's not that hard, just pick a burger. What's she doing? Claire, what are you doing? What are you eating? It's still pretty sunny, Millie. I think the sun's going down about 8.30, 8.33, estimate. Yes, he's here. Oh, hey mate, how's it going? Thanks, buddy. Champion. Hey, Claire! My meal's here! Have you ordered yet? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna send you a photo right now. Really stop. I'm trying to take a photo. Send to CB. Look at this burger. Oh my god. Amazing. We reckon Millie. High five. High five? Okay. <laughs> so I made Claire come down just to film me eating this burger in front of her. I was like, you gotta film me eating it. I She's fucking like, hate you <laughs> so much. Oh my god. Wow. Time to get my mouth around it. Is it good? You should order one. Look at the juices. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. Millie, where are you going? I swear the door was just closed and then I heard the doodum. 
and she's just walked outside. Where are you going? Why would you shut the door on us? Go for a wander. Come on, come inside. Hey, we're gonna watch The Wolf of Wall Street, bro. You keen? You keen? Come on, up on the couch. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. What'd you get, bro? Meat lovers. Meat lovers. Show us. Let me see the goods. Okay. Come on, crack that bitch open. Is it good? Is it good? Oh, oh my fuck. god, dude. Deep that's dish a fucking for the win. cheat meal. Right there. I told you, deep dish, bro. Fuck the thin crust. Fuck that. What do you guys prefer? I want to know. Thin crust or deep. What is it? <laughs> deep dish. Deep no, dish? deep pan. A deep pan. Thin crust or deep pan? Comment below. What are you doing? What are you waiting for? You're waiting for my part to go to bed. Alright guys, that is the end of the vlog for today. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Millie's doing the sign off for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up on this one and make sure that you subscribe to the ActiFam if you haven't already. And then don't forget to click the bell so that you can get a notification every time I upload it. Oh, a new video. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.